concepts. And then the last one is, you know, more guys want to hear more man stuff, you're like, well, man, you're going to spend the majority of time on that 3D printer, we'll do that. Okay, I'm going to count, I'm going to touch all of them, but if I want to spend more time in one area, we'll just adjust it and go. Okay? All right. Uh, we're going to start out here again, defending the multiple option run game. All right? Uh, a lot of the things we talked about yesterday, or last night, the basic things we're going to try to expand on. But, uh, you know, again, we want to make sure we're identifying, again, the types of options we're seeing. We talked about the majority, at least a little bit, the zone, the zero, the midline, the dart option, the counter option, uh, shuffle option, something we had to talk a little bit about, and I'm talking about the double, where it's got the inside, where you can go shuffle or pull it out and pull the pitch on the outside, right? Okay. All right. Drawing up again, we talked a little about the zone option, okay, yesterday. Uh, I, I read them inside, the red, again, so we're identifying uh, who's the back to read on the zone. So we know how he's reading up all inside. Again, we're in the first man pass down, but has to pass the center. Then he's going to come back to the second man, right? So the first guy expands, right? Then he's going to come back and read the second guy. We talked yesterday about that. And if it's a shade, how we want this guy, we're going to rock that to get the, him to come off. So we get the nose to expand, force him to cut back, and we'll rock it back into the A. Is everybody with me on that one? Okay. And he's reading the end. Again, the same thing going to say on the box. So I, don't want, I really don't want to spend a whole lot of time on the box today unless we've got questions on it. Okay, I want to spend more time on the option part by the pole pitch. Let's get the ball in the perimeter and how we're going to defend the perimeter of the stuff, okay? <laughs> All right. So if we talk about zone option, the zero, okay, again, how it's so important, I don't know how many of you are seeing this, but then we're running really, the, it's, the, it's the triple triple option out of the gun. Uh, how you defend this kind of changes some things because, again, you, you can't squat and play three, uh, your three tech or your five technique. Uh, he can't squat and just be a quarterback player. He's got to read the damn thing. And I don't care if you're in a three technique or now if you're talking squeeze or what. He's got to go a fold on that thing. Okay? If the good teams are seeing when they run a triple, if they run it to the three technique, again, what they tell them to do on a three is he's going to push it in the A gap. They tell him, push it in the A, all right? They're going to try to double the three, and you want him to jump cut off the three. So get up in there, jump cut, hug it tight, and come on down. Okay? And that's why if you take your guy, and you just tell him, you know, you're a quarterback player because you've got three technique, you're squeezed, and you're just a quarterback player. Again, you're going to, and, and especially if he goes up the field or goes to tax the quarterback, you got problems. Okay? Don't run the crap till the days until, you know, the cows come home. Okay? So we're talking about the zero. And again, we want to make sure everything we're doing, whether, whether I'm getting it, or it's to the, the, the eagle side or it's with the 50 side, we want to make sure we got to answer any one of these things as they pop up. Okay? So again, we start talking about basic fits. You know, how we're going to play the three side, the eagle side, how we're going to play the 50 side. And then we go into all the run stunts and all the stuff, how it's going to help them. Obviously, we've got certain things that will be better. Okay? And I also want to throw this in is obviously uh, <clears throat> game planning it. You know, you tell, you're not going to get into everything. You know what I mean? If I'm going to game plan it, I'm going to say, look, this is what they're doing. You know, they're going to get into trips and this is what they're going to run. Well, it's the same damn thing. Then we want to get in what's our best stuff. You know, there's several games we're going to go in knowing that we're going to what? We're going to put the three technique to the back. And we're going to do it until they, until, they, until they make us change. Okay? All right? Or we're going to go into this thing and we're going to say, hey, we're going to play, we're going to get the 50, set, we're going to get the 50 side to the back, and we're going to defend that. And we're going to do that until they get a test of success. If they have some success, then we'll change. Okay? Or, again, certain play if they're heavy zone, and what we've got a one-two look that we're going to do at them. Okay? So, again, um, it, 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 obviously, by game plan, you got to get down to the uh, most important part. Just like defending the option under the gun, or uh, underneath the center. If you walk in, you're facing a triple option football team. Somebody in a wishbone, or I don't care if you do it out of the eye, and uh, El Camino forever was, uh, when, when Herb was there, was uh, running the triple on the inside and outside beer. If you're doing those things, defensively, the first thing is you got to make sure your kids feel comfortable with what they're doing. they got to know what they're doing. Okay? So defensively, you got to be careful with those types when you face an option is how much are you going to change the fronts. Because the most important part is he knows what to do. You know what I mean? So you got to, again, when we game plan, we want to make sure that, uh, uh, again, what are we good at? What can we handle? And then also, what's the best look we can give for certain looks? Midline. Any of you guys seen the midline? Have you seen the midline, midline out here? I'm going to tell you this right now. The midline's really turned to this. If we, we jump, we play a lot of bare front, double eagle. Two, three techniques, head up nose. We play a lot of that. Okay? 
So basically what we do is, I mean, that's like an automatic check in our conference now. So we've been, I've been in the same conference now for five years. So if they're running, if they're running any type of zone, zero, any spread option, if we give them bear, they're going to midline. Okay? So one thing is, is I know. Hell, I can limit a lot of times. I mean, again, I know I, I can what? I can limit what they're going to run. I can make them give me the midline. If it's a rundown, I know I, I can declare right now, I said, give them a bear front, we're going to make them run midline. Okay? Because that's basically all of their checks are when we go bear. They don't want to run zone option. They don't want to run, <coughs> uh, you know, the uh, uh, zero. They don't want to run it to that three and five in there. So they're going to run, they're going to run the midline. Okay? All right. But midline, again, reading the three technique. <coughs> Obviously, we're talking about midline lead. Okay? Because we can see it two different ways. Blocking down, turn the three technique loose, blocking out, and he's either going to read the three. If the three crashes, okay, quarterback's going to pull, insert to B. Okay? Midline triple would be turning both loose. Okay? Midline triple would be turning both loose. He's going to read the three on the, on the die, and he's going to turn around and read the five technique on the pull pitch. Okay? So he'd turn both loose. they put the play side backer now. The play, on the play side tackle, he would be responsible for the play side backer. So they would double this, right? He expands out, he's gonna go to the back side backer, he's got the front side backer. Okay? Has everybody, anybody seen that? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, counter option, we talked a little bit about that. Uh, again, you you you've made the eat call, okay? If you're gonna gap exchange that, how are you gonna do that? Okay? Because if these guys, if my key is this, if my if I'm gonna key uh, the guard and he pulls, there's no gap exchange here. Right? My guy pulls, he's going to be where? Over here. Okay? What this guy's got to know is what? When do we gap exchange? On the beer block. So if you don't beer block, there's no gap exchange. You're the quarterback player. Okay? That would be the same thing as the dart. I don't know if i got the dart done up there or not. The next knot. But if this guy does not block down, then there's no gap exchange. We're gap exchanging versus the beer. Okay? So if he pulls... You're the quarterback player, you're playing the power. I mean, or playing the counter. Or dart, whatever it is. This guy pulls, you're going. Okay? Because that was a big thing uh, a couple years ago coming out. Uh, and, and even for us, again, first time people started running counter and reading this sucker. You know what I mean? If you're running him, he's saying eat, boom, boom, you got a quarterback running down the sideline. Okay? I think it's a great play for offense because I don't think we see it enough. Okay, dart option would be the same thing. Here we go. Again, my guy pulled, I'm the quarterback player. Okay, he's got three technique, I'm a squeeze player anyway, so I'm good. Okay, I see the puller, I'm still, I'm playing the pull. Okay, I'm playing the pull. He's playing, all right, he's going to play the quarterback. We talked last night about the dart. He's going to play the quarterback, and then what? The quarterback doesn't have the ball, what is he going to do? Bold day gap. Okay, he's going to play the quarterback. you got time, because it's an A-back cutback is all it is, right? You try to hit it on the front side of the bubble first. So I'm going to sit, squat, see the hands. Forward does not have the ball. I'm going to fold the A gap, take the A gap, cut back. Okay? That allows me to get what? Two backers on the insert player over here. Okay? So we get two on the insert. We get a vice that the lead. <coughs> He'd be my full cutback player in the A gap. Okay? All right, here we go, Ray. We talked a little bit about this, reviewing it. Uh, seven man fronts, okay? And I'm going to get more into the secondary part of it. The seven man fronts, we talked last night about obviously doing a stunt spill to handle the gap on the backside, okay? Let me start off with the two high. We started talking now the two high. The way we're going to read this thing, I'm going to start talking a little bit about the hash mark and stuff that we a little bit, touched a little bit last night. Uh, two high. The biggest thing, we're going to try to be a lot too high for the passing game, okay? Again, how much do you have to do? I think it depends. How good is the quarterback? How good is their passing game? You know, I know. Uh, you know, sometimes you face some guys. Maybe he, he, they don't have a good passing game. Maybe he's not a throw. Maybe he's just an athlete back there running the option. Okay, and you can run a lot more eight-man fronts. Well, it's a little cleaner than on the run support if you're going eight-man fronts. Okay, but when we're doing this, primarily, usually what we want to do is we want to really use the corner and send the boundary. Okay, I think one of the big keys in stopping the spread option is you've got to be able to use that eighth defender who's now a corner if you want to stay too high, okay? And you can run it in quarters, and you can do that, okay? You can do the same concept with him forcing and him on top, okay? 
But you got to be able to get that defender in the box, and we really like using the corner because, one, the worst blockers they got are usually these two cats on the outside. Okay? These are usually the worst two blockers they got on the field. All right? So we want to make sure we're getting this guy in there. And then also, the thing about quarters also is, in, you know, if you're going to run it, then make sure you're working on, the, obviously, the crack and replace there for that. And then obviously comes the crack and go, which becomes, you know, a big part of any, any option football team. Okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, seven man front, two to three technique. We talked about that. Okay. Well, we're going to always, well, we're going to handle this in two back. Okay. Again, on the back side, we're crack. Uh, I mean, we're uh, uh, we're going to force this on, on the back side. Okay. We're going to uh, crack. Uh, we're going to replace with the safety. On the front side, we want to do our, our force off the invert and the safety. We're always going to tag this guy again. This is usually we're talking here. This is the guy to the field. All right. We're usually this, okay? And this goes into the past stuff. I don't know, four verticals. You first, anytime an ego goes, an ego spread, you can better do it. How are you going to defend four verticals? How are you going to take that? Okay? Well, the one that we always want to make sure we're giving them or making them throw is the farthest one to the field. Okay? It's one with the ball in the air the longest. It's the least percentage throw. All right? It's the one that a lot of court, some court can't make that throw. Okay? He'll throw four verticals and he'll hit two inside seams, hit the guy in the boundary. Put the ball in a hash, he's not going to throw the ball out to the numbers out here. Okay? He can't make the throw, he's going to just toss it up. All right? So a lot, what it allows us to do is, we'll, we'll, we'll go into this when we talk about pass stuff, is we'll quarters concept this side and uh, stack force between the safety and, and the invert roll down, okay? And then we'll stack force between the corner and the safety and the boundary. Slam, we've gone over that again. I, I didn't talk about that. Okay? Uh, again, uh, if the back's to this side, now the, the Mike Backer is a hard scrape player. He's a quarterback player. He's getting threatened right now. Okay. All right. Let's go perimeter run support. This is what I want to get into this morning. All right. All right. A couple ways to do it. We got, got a couple ways we're going to call force. Right. Shoot force or invert. Skies are free safety. Clouds are corners. Broncos are backer. Okay. And reads. We're, we're going to we're reading the block. Okay. And tell us who's got what. Okay, well, we're going to classify again who's the pitch player. All right, we want to make sure we classify who's the pitch player. Okay. All right, let's talk basic cover three support. Okay, cover three support again. All right, we're saying here we got shoot force. All right, so we're saying that the invert. All right, your strong safety. He's the support player. He's the pitch player. Okay. Two things to start. First of all, if I'm the pitch, if I'm responsible for pitch. He has got to read number two as well, okay? He's reading number two. He's got to read the block at two. That's real simple when he goes spread and he's out here. When he's down here, he's still got to read it, okay? Because who is two blocking? If two blocks a quarterback player, he's got to become what? He's got to become a quarterback player, okay? So, again, he's got to read number two, and he's got to read number two. And we're going to need cover three, four, just, all right? Free safety. Let's go through this technique. I'm a middle of the field player. Okay, his job is he is going to pat, pat, he's going to read uncovered lineman first, okay? If he gets a hi-hat read, okay, hi-hat read, I'm going to walk it out, okay? If he's a hi-hat read, I'm going to walk it out. If I get low hat, I'm going to pat, 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 all right? Don't go anywhere, okay? So I get low hat read, pat, 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 my eyes now snap to number two, whether he's here or here. I snap to two. If two is confirmed that he's blocking, you're gone. Shoot like a dart. You're on a dead sprint. Okay? If number two is obviously up the field, then you've got to be ready to roll push back to the middle third. And the way we're going to do we say, the terms we use, we say roll, he's going to roll push on pass. Is this. So if I'm going to pat, okay, and I'm still the post player, in order to pat, if it is, if it is pass, I've got to regain the depth that I would have lost. Okay? So if I, <clears throat> to regain the depth that I would have lost, all right? is I'm going to cross, okay, and I'm going to go three hard steps, one, two, three. We're trying to get five yards and three steps, okay? We're going to roll We're going to roll it, one, two, three. We're going to push, and we're trying to push ourselves down to 15. I should be at 15. Then I square myself up, okay, and, I can, and I'm going to pedal back, and I'm a little post player, okay? So that, let me say, when I say roll push, so he's going to do this. He's going to pat, 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 and he's going to roll push the middle third, okay? All right? So he's going to sit back so we can make sure we still get the run support here, okay? 
We don't want him backpedaling out of there and he's trying to roll support, he's trying to support a pitch from 15 yards deep. He ain't gonna get there. Okay? So we'll pat, 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 read the email line of scrimmage. I snapped the two. Alright? Um, let me go this. Okay? Eye progression for ours in the back end, we always say first we say scan. Okay? Any second, any second we say we want to scan. When we're scanning formation, we're scanning for eligibles. We should know the formation before it ever happens. We see the formation, we know the eligibles are, and the possible motions. Okay? All right? Two, we say zoom. Okay? I'm going to write up. Scan, zoom, snap. Okay? Talk at eyes. I'm going to scan the formation as they come out. All of them. Okay? I scan it, I find eligibles, I see that, hey, you know, alert motion, alert motion, I cut a split that, whatever it is, I'm going to alert the motions before the ball snap. Okay? I'm going to scan the formation, okay? I'm going to zoom. Okay? The biggest problem that happens to secondary guys is they see too much. Zoom in on your primary key. Alright? If I'm the free right there, I should be zooming in on the uncover line. If I'm the invert player right here, I should be zooming in on in minor line of scrimmage. All right? Get your eyes on him. Don't be seeing all this crud. Okay? You don't need to see everything. Zoom in on him. Okay? And snap means now snap your eyes to your secondary key. Okay? So again, progression goes, his eyes will go what? Scan. I see the eligibles. I know they are. I alert myself to motion. Free safety. All right? I'm going to zoom in on uncover lineman. All right? I see low hat. I'm going to snap my eyes to two. Okay? I see high hat. Right? I'm still going to snap my eyes to two. All right? If we're talking cover two, or two deep shell, right? I should be, again, scan, zoom, in man line of scrimmage. Right? I get high hat, low hat, I snap my eyes to five or four, whichever I'm at, whoever, whoever I got on my side. Okay? Scan, zoom, snap. Okay? And then, so the thought, the progress of actually when you're teaching them is then you're talking about biggest, the most problem gets them in trouble is they don't have to see what they're supposed to see. Right? You got free safety running down in there, two's running up the field, you know he didn't snap. Right? He didn't snap his eyes to the secondary key. Same thing. The guy's got a low hat and you got a guy bailing his ass out of there, you didn't see your first key. Right? So you talk we talk about eye violations. Right? Your eyes here not looking what you're supposed to be. That'd be the same thing as on the defense lineman three technique, and I got my eyes in the back of it. Okay? You gotta get your eyes in your primary key, then snap to your secondary key. Okay? Okay. Um, and we're always going to talk in terms of this, right? Force player, and then our secondary force player, right? From force player on the pitch player, from secondary force, we're talking you are secondary support on the pitch, okay? Because I'm going to play until there's no long threat of, I'm going to stay deep until there's no long threat of a, of a pass, okay? Does that mean no? Not tell the call across the line of scrimmage until this guy stops this one, this guy stops running. He breaks down anything he confirms. My eyes are still going to go, if I'm in deep third, let's go cover three, my eyes are still on emo. Okay, I'm gonna see the email line scrimmage. Okay, if I get low hat, I'm gonna give my eyes to stay in here through the three step. Okay, if I get high hat, I'm gonna stay in here through the three step. All right, I walk it out and I snap my eyes back to number one. Okay, so my eyes stay in here. All right, if I'm secondary force, okay, I'm obviously gonna walk out because I'm on third. So I'm gonna walk it out. Okay, eyes in here. I'm gonna snap my eyes to him. Run or pass, I snap my eyes back to one. If one is breaking down or coming to block me or cracking, I'm going to support. Okay, my aim point would be the outside track of the ball carrier. Okay, and I'm second report on pitch. Are you giving me one on that? Okay. Okay. One thing on uh, this, uh, I think, you know, is making sure if we get confirmed option, you never want to cross the line of scrimmage. Okay? What you don't want to do is get it on the cross line screen. We say this on leverage. If he gets two of them out, if he's got the quarterback in the pitch, his relationship is two by two off the quarterback. Okay? I'm two yards outside and I'm two yards off it. Okay? I'm a pitch player. I never want to get tired of the quarterback than that. Okay? Two by two, I can still open myself flat and handle the pitch. Now if somebody's got the pit, if somebody's already got the quarterback, the backer scrape bum, I feel the inside player's already got the quarterback, I'll expand to the pitch now. But if I ever get in a situation where they loaded it, cracked it, whatever, the guy fell down, whatever else, I'm two by two on a quarterback. Okay? All right?
you can still type to it. This is underneath the center, but it's, it's a, the concept is the same. It doesn't matter if you're facing double slot option or facing spread option. Okay? This is why we read number two. Okay? We read number two because I don't care if two inserts here or two inserts here to block the backer. If he blocks the quarterback player, he's got to become the quarterback player. My eyes are always snapping there number two. Why? Because if two blocks the quarterback player, I know I'm going to the pitch right now. Okay? Normal alley player, he's playing quarterback two pitch. But if two blocks the backer, I go to the pitch right now. Okay? Last thing you want is him block the quarterback. Your safety's sitting on the outside. The quarterback's running up there in a five, six yard game before free safety can get to him. Okay? So we're always going to, we, we want to make sure both of us are reading number two on the, on the run side. Okay? We've got to see him. That simple, is that the way everybody's doing it? Okay. All right, too high, stack force. Okay. Again, I talked about this. His his mentality is the first thing you gotta teach. Okay? Because yeah, all right. His mentality is no oh, uh, you know what? Crit. Let me talk about this word. I want to talk about the corner. Alright. Because this is a screw up. A lot. Alright, if I'm the corner, if I'm the corner, I'm trying to figure out what's there. If I'm the corner, here's the deal. If I get confirmed run, okay, if you don't coach this, the first thing that's gonna happen is guy's gonna come down stock block, you said stay outside, where's this corner gonna go? Okay? He's gonna work his butt outside, coach you said stay outside, he's gonna work outside, he's gonna be out here. There's a huge ass alley in between him and the next man, and you got front problems, okay? All right, we tell him this, as you get confirmed run, okay, boom, boom, I snap my eyes to one, he comes, he's either running down to stock me, he's going inside, maybe gain the inside position on me, whatever else. All right, first thing we tell him is to compress, okay? First thing he should do is compress. I should run at least three hard steps inside. I'm going to go there first, okay? And I'm going to get him to close down on me, okay? I'm going to compress it first, okay? Compress it first and then realize what? You are now the receiver. He is now the DB. He doesn't know where you're going. Okay? Don't just run down there and make it easy for him. Let him shuffle down here and lock up on you. Okay? We say this. Is, I'm going to compress first. So I'm going to squeeze, compress. As he comes down, now I want what? I fixate. I'm going to go inside, outside, right? I can eye fixate outside, come inside. I saw the ball. Okay? Uh, what we want to do is listen. We're saying he's a DB. Now it's your chance, it's your chance to screw him. Okay? Make, sure, make him be the DB. Make him get under control. Okay? Don't just run in there. Okay? So if I'm secondary four, so if I'm the third player, that's a cover three, quarters, I'm the corner, cover I got to me, I'm secondary support player. First thing we say is compress. First thing you've got to do is you've got to compress this. We don't want a big ass lane here. Compress, right? Now become the wide receiver. Boom, boom, boom. Give him a move. Right? Shake him down. Shake him down. I fixate. Now come and support. Okay? First thing we gotta do is get that lane down. Coach, you're teaching that and, and all, and whenever he's a secondary force player, not just against option. Not no, not just against option. Because then yeah, you're gonna speed sweep whatever, compress it and get up. Yep. So his, it's all it's the same thing for him every time. If I'm back, if I'm in, if I'm ever deep, but I'm gonna walk out. I'm gonna walk out. Put whatever else. Cover one. We get in cover one. Same thing. Boom. I snap back to one. Bam. There he goes. He chatters down your block. I'm what? Compress first. Get them constrict that lane and then avoid and uh, and, and be a secondary force player. Okay. I mean, obviously, I don't know. It's probably the same thing. I mean, it's the same thing. These are usually our worst tacklers. All right. And usually the ones that we get that can run and cover. They don't want a whole lot of this. Okay. They want to go cover that guy. They don't want a whole lot of throwing the head into a, a running back coming down there. You know. So. Um, one thing we te also we teach is pretty simple. To get. And if you get a physical corner, obviously it's great. Those are the easy ones. Well, those guys that don't like to tackle is com is compress, right? Compress, avoid, go through the outside thigh board. Okay. We just do a teach. Hell, don't bother with teaching. Say hi. We just boom. We're going through the outside thigh board right now. Smoke it. Don't blo don't break down. Don't anything. Come get his ass. Okay. All right. Yeah. And most everything we're teaching. It's like I said, all of the basic reads and stuff, it don't matter. We're going to try to teach everything so that you don't have to reteach versus option. You don't have to reteach versus any kind of stuff. So we're going to, anything I'm talking about, that's our basic keys and reads. 
That's the first thing. That's how we're going to teach it all the time. Okay. All right, stack force. All right, mentality here, okay? All right, we're, we're talking half, right? I'm on a half, uh, so I'm going to walk out. Safety's on a walk out, okay? All right, corner, my read is in the <coughs> line of scrimmage, okay? We talk about the mentality. First of all, the mentality of any primary support player is you have the right to be fooled, okay? All right? We don't ever want to take any of our primary support players. We're telling them right now, you have a right to be fooled. All right? We don't want him pitter pattern. I wasn't sure, coach. I didn't pull my trigger. Pull it. We'll work on getting out of it. All right. If we just saw something wrong, we'll get out of the thing. All right. So I'm talking. About, yes. Are you gonna have problem play action pass? Yes. So it's a different way how we're gonna teach that too. Because if he gets low hat, he's gonna be coming. Okay. So he is reading in man line of scrimmage. Okay, now let's talk about it. There's several ways you can play this guy, all right? And I think uh, <coughs> we have played him at five yards depth. We have played him at, we have played cover two from an eight yard depth, okay? All right, there's two ways, I mean, you can do it either way, okay? So, but the basic rules we're going to tell them is this, is we're going to say it's slam footwork, so that means I'm inside leverage, all right? I'm going to go inside leverage, slam footwork. Then we should step my inside foot first. Okay? My eyes are inside right now. Okay? I see in man line scrimmage. I see low hat. We talk about your mentality is your hands in the grass. You ought to be coming. Okay? Now you're coming to constrict two by two off the in man line scrimmage. All right? That's your aiming point. All right? So he's coming hard to constrict. Okay? Uh, if he gets. Number one, coming to block him, all right, we want to uh, dip and rip and keep coming, okay? Dip and rip and keep coming. As long as your hat's on the inside of him, we're good. If he washes you all the way down, that's still good, because what did it do to our stack force? It made it tighter, okay? That's ideally what we want, all right? This is one of the easier tackles in the game of football, okay? It's an inside-out profile shot, okay? That's an easy tackle for the safety. Alright, so we, we would love it for him to come down and block you all the way down here to the tackle. That's great. Now I got that, there's just nothing like we took him and stuck him right down here as a wing. You got that gap, we stack force off the edge with a free safety. He's got nobody blocking him, he comes down and it's like tackling practice. It's profile shot, it's, it's easy. Okay, so what we want to do is that an outside shoulder, again, I'm going to come, if I get him in, I want to dip, lean, right? I still want to work my neck up in there. To make sure I'm not getting washed, I don't want to get off balance, right? So we want to get our low pad down, we're going to rip through that armpit, right? And we're going to compress it to make sure we squeeze the thing all the way down to the tackle, or tight end, whatever the man line of scrimmage is. Okay? Alright. Secondary force, we're going to talk half, I'm going to say half, cover two, okay? And this is, so we said anytime I'm a, I'm a deep player, I'm going to walk out. I'm going to walk out, and I'm still going to have my vision on in man line of scrimmage, okay? I walk out, I vision in man line of scrimmage. Okay, I get low hat, my eyes are going to snap to one. Okay, if there's a boundary, I always would snap to five. Okay, so I get here, I get low hat, I'm walking out, my eyes are, before I stop, before I, it should have, should have before I stick that foot in the ground. I'm walking out, bam, I see in man line scrimmage, he's blocking, my eyes snap to five. Okay, as my eyes snap to five, if five is running, right, I'm going to pedal for width. Okay. If five is blocking, or one, if one is blocking him, you're going to stick that, you're going to stack force tight. Okay, he's now, now you are running right at number one. Number one or five, you're running right at his butt. Crack and go, we ought to have a daggum collision, or we ought to see it, because that's my aiming point. My aiming point is him. Okay, so my mm -hmm. eye should be on him. Okay, so he comes down, if he does for some reason, he did crack and go, or he just, you know, stop and take off, bam, I should see that guy and take him. Okay? Alright. Um, what about the alley guy, Coach? An alley guy. Is he looking for two? Yep. Oh. If, he got, if I got run this side, my alley cut, takes my eyes, going to go this side, and I would pick up number two. I said, in case I get the. Right. Down and up the alley, the middle. <coughs> okay. So, the alley players, same thing. <coughs> so what, in, in, in cover three, who's the alley player? The free, and who did he check? 
Number two, you're the backside. I walk out, right? Run goes away from me. I'm still going to snap my eyes to number number two. I'm still the alley player. Okay? Didn't matter if I'm one high and he's here running the alley, checking two, or on the backside safety and I'm checking two on the alley. Okay? You're still the alley player. You check number two. You're inside out. You're a quarterback to pitch player. Okay? Coach, going yeah. back to, to one high with your free safety, he's reading uncovered to, to, to number two. Yeah. If they're two by two and they're, you know, zone option team, yep. which number two are you telling them to check? Well, it depends on what they're usually going to get. If they're running zone option, one of them suckers got to come in. Right? So one of the guys gets a little bit. Well, I should say Because the other way running. Right? They can take this guy and back him up. Right? They can do that, and, and there's the pitch guy. He just steps back, okay? What we say is this is the free safety. Now, you're always responsible for the side the quarterback's coming out, okay? Because that's the option side, okay? So if the zone, if the zone's coming this way, I'm always playing the alley play. i got to play that side. So that's his two, okay? Yeah? Yeah. Do it? Okay. And so if they're, if they're like an under center team or something like that, is it like uncovered with flow? Yeah, un to uncovered to the flow. If he opened that side, I'm going to check that to that side. Yep. Okay. If we're in cover three, then the backside third player would be responsible for four and five. All right? He'd be responsible for squeezing four to five. He'd get two vertical. He's got apex four and five. Everyone on that? Okay. All right, uh, stack forcing on off the invert. Okay. All right. We're gonna this guy same thing. I'm gonna cheat, key in man line scrim. Low hat. Okay. My eyes snap back to him. Okay. My eyes snap back to number two. All right. Two's blocking me. All right. If two blocking me. Say now we're back to linebacker run uh, fits. Okay. If I get it, I am gonna cuff and choke. Number two, I'm going to shoot eight, all right? Outside hand on the cuff, inside hand down the midline, all right? I'm going to choke, all right? And then I'm going to near foot, near foot, and constrict. Okay? Is everyone with me on that? Got to, I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't have a gear. I'll tell you what, the best one, the best kid we had doing this was a kid out of, uh, uh, we had a little kid two years ago. He was little, he was 165 pounds. He was out played at uh, LA Harbor. He choked the crap out of kids. You know, he's 165 pounds, man. He'd stick that damn thing in there, and it was every time, boom, boom. He just, I mean, if you could watch it, uh, um, it, it, if you can give, we give awards, all right? We, we'll give them things for chokes, practice, try to make sure they understand it, get it down. Our linemen hate it. Our receivers freaking hate it. There's fights at practice all the damn time because we're choking them and stuff. Uh, and, uh, uh, but, you know, the times we've been better, we understood that. Suckers ain't blocking you when you do that. Okay? If I'm a strong safety, I don't care. He's always been, oh, he's not big enough to support and all stuff. I promise you, that two blocks him, and I cut, and if I go cuff and choke and I slide a thing into his throat, that guy ain't blocking him. The first thing he's going to do is try to get his hand out of his damn throat. And okay? forget, blocks off. That's about survival instincts at that point. Okay? All right, so here we go. All right, if I'm outside, all right, so I'm going to cover, so we're in cover two high, cover two, okay? We're going to stack forces here, so we're going to play outside of this guy, okay? All right? Now, with our coverage, it's going to change. So we may go by coverage. He may be inside footwork. It's the same terminology, slam or squat. So let's say he's squat, so I'm outside leverage, number two. I'm leveraging the bubble, which we'll get into later, okay? I'm going to leverage the bubble, so I'm going to be outside of number two, okay? So the same thing. In man line of scrimmage, eyes snap back to him. He's coming to block you, right? Cuff and choke, all right, get in there and compress, and I'm going to stay on the outside of the guy, okay? Your job is just to make sure you stay outside, clarify for the free, okay? If we're in a quarters coverage, you're right, okay, I'm in some type of tight half concept here, all right? It's the same thing. I'm going to walk out, in man, now my eyes are going to snap to who? Two, not one, because I'm not playing with him. It's quarters, because he's got him deep, okay? He's, so he's deep on there, come on that. So I'm going to snap, my eyes are going to snap to two, okay? I see him blocking out, I'm fitting inside, all right? If, for some reason, again, I snap my eyes to two and he's releasing, then I'm going to cover it, okay? 
right? If we went in the next part and we go and say using a, a, a slam fork is inside, then what, now we're taking what? In man line of scrimmage, you see run. Same thing we talked about on the crack on, on the uh, stack force or the corner, right? Now here's my angle. He comes and blocks me, that's fine. Dip, lean, and push it, okay? And you're gonna stack force right off his butt. Okay? Are we good on that? Coach, with your, with, if you were uh, playing cover two mm -hmm. and your, your backside pass is the, the alley guy, is he just taking alley? In, in theory, he's going to take. He would take. The, he would be the cutback safety, but he's going to take it before it have got that far by running the alley. Well, if I mean, is, he, is he arcing or is he? He's going. He, no, he's a. He's an alley. He'd be here. Our backside corner would be their cutback safety. Oh, you're going to move him on top. Yep. You're not going to yep. bring him in for cutback. Well, if it's flow that side. Okay, well, that's it. If, it, if it's true that it's too high, he would go, like I said, he's going to see run away from him. Mm -hmm. so let's say he was in that same four. He saw low hat. He started to come, boom. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's got to work back to squeeze five. Okay, I'm going to work back to squeeze five and compress, and then I'd, I'd, be, the, I'd be the late cutback player. Okay. Now, we have two ways that we have, a, uh, we have another term that we say, if we tell him to cheat, now he's a damn, he is a complete run player. Okay, so if I say cheat, that I means we're going to cheat him inside that guy. Okay, general rules will say we go five by two, so I'll be two yards inside that. Let's put it over here. So if I was going to play a cheat corner here, okay, well, he's going to cheat two yards inside that wide receiver. So I'm just making sure you ain't blocking me. Okay, I'm going to make sure there's no stock block here. So if I'm cheat corner, basically, I'm the, damn, I'm the linebacker, I'm an invert, right? Now I get run, I'm down, you still now, I still got a what? I still got to, I got to snap my eyes back to five because we're cheap corner and we're letting him go on run support. So I got to still snap. I walk out, pedal, boom. I still got to cheat my eyes to the backside, make sure I'm not throwing you know backside post or something like that. So I have to do that. But we add the extra eighth man defender with the corner. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Gone through this. All right, good. Um, okay, so we tell them this. So if we get flow, all right, if we get flow instead of patting straight, because what happens is if you pat straight and they're zone block, if they're zoning this way and you pat here, you're in the backside beat. That's how you declare. So a lot of times our pat's not here. If it's flow, it could, I'm going to shuffle with the flow, so I'm still my, still my same leverage spot in the box. Okay, so we would shake it because shuffle, 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 roll, push back to the middle third. Okay, right. yeah. So that's the big thing because if, 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 like I said, if you don't, if they zone here, and I just speed option. There you go. If I pat, if I pat here and why this is moving, he technically would be flowing this thing from the backside beat. You're not gonna get there. So if I see this. I got shuffle, 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 and I'm supporting from the same spot. Shuffle, 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 roll, push back from the middle third. Okay, so it won't be a straight, it won't be a straight path. So you have him roll back opposite where he came from. He's got a where he came from. Our um, he's got to get the middle third. Okay, and what we said, what what is the middle third? Okay. We first want to defense, obviously, defense in the formation. Where's you know, where's two? Where's four? Or what is your both number twos if you class one like that? Okay. But the first thing is everybody else. All right. Everybody else in the defense is funneling to him. Okay. So we say at a spot of at 25 yards, that free safety's got to be able to cover <coughs> two yards outside the hash. Both hashes. So there's still a concept there was we're still defending the field. Now, when you get to three, now that sounds real, real simple. There's my threat, so I'm going to push to three. But if you go um, two by two, okay, if I was two by two, we're coming this way. If I was two by two and I did some type of you know, half roll or some type of play action or something at that side, we still want you, you got to roll push the middle of third. Why? Because we're playing the divider concept at our corners, okay? And the divider concept, you got to know where that sucker's at, right? They're not doing it based off of a man. They're playing leverage based off of where you're going to be. 
You with me on that? Mm -hmm. We'll talk about man coverage. So, uh, when we start talking man coverage, I'll just, all right. our uh, our divider concept is this. Okay, if we're in a cover three, our corners, okay, are five, one, bottom. Okay, that means if the ball is the ball's in that hash, okay. My divider, knowing where my free safety, where I'm gonna leverage, is it's five yards inside, okay, of the numbers, okay. If the ball was in the middle of the field, the ball's there. If the ball is in the middle of the field, my divider now is one yard inside the numbers, okay. And I'll go from Wingo Morrison's cover stuff, okay. If the ball is to me, if the ball is to me, my the divider spot is the bottom. Okay? And what we're saying is anything broken inside your divider, okay, let's say Z's here, and he runs a post, anything inside that divider, that free safety's got to be able to make that play. Okay? And so if we if we change the dividers, obviously in cover one, the one, the corners dividers, Go right. It's six two top. Same two con same concept. Now it's six yards inside the numbers. Now it's two yards inside the numbers. And now it's all right. Uh, now it's the top of the numbers. Okay. And now that's telling us as a corner whether I'm playing inside or outside leverage. Okay. We can talk. A little bit, we can talk more on that when we go past. When we go past the past stuff. Did you guys have a cover two divider? Two middle two. Yeah. And so, for our free safety, what we tell them most of us, you, you got to, we got to, we want to know where he's at, because it all goes together. If I think if he goes inside my divider, I'm undercutting the post. Why? Because the freeze on top. If he goes inside my divider and runs a six, I'm undercutting the six route. Because if he went to six and post, this is a freeze ball. What we don't want is what? They run a post and we got a corner on top of the post and a free on top of the post and who's got underneath the post? The receiver. He's catching the ball. Okay? So everything we do on coverage makes sure is when we get the route, we want to make sure we got a guy inside and guy, we want to get him, we've got to get him right uh, on how we're leveraging every route. Okay? Everybody on that? Can I ask you one question? Sorry. Uh, going back to cover two with two middle two. Yep. Uh, if he lines up outside your divider, do you move him to slam footwork? Yep. If you're playing cover two on both sides. Yep. Yep. And then there's some changes for that option with the zone option. We, like I said, uh, a lot of times we do it's two middle two, but we'd say, hell, if he cuts it down and we know, and like I said, the back's away from me, slam it anyway. Why? Because I, I got the run coming to me. Okay. So the, the cover two, we have a basic concept, and, and I say all those obviously are also uh, when we say dividers, those are basic concepts. And we come out day one, this is how we play. Okay, but obviously you know you're going to get in the seat, you're going to game plan and say, hey, look, this guy you know, his, when he goes outside the number, you know he's he's running a go route. You know what I mean? He's going deep. You know, if two's tight, he's going to you know what I mean they're running or whatever you call it, they're running inside and a fade. You know what I mean? So we're going to we're going to play. We have a basic way to play it. But you know, and then obviously, getting, you know, we're gonna we're gonna play the routes we're gonna see based off the dividers with the, the the width and splits of the receivers too. Okay, but it gives us a base way to play anything. But we went out there and we understand it. we would have a bread and butter way to play it no matter what. Okay. Coach, exactly what is your two middle two? That's our corners dividers. Cover two. Okay. So if, if if the ball is on the far hash of me, it's I'm two yards inside the numbers. If the ball's all right, if the ball's in the middle, uh, my divider's in the middle of the numbers. If the ball was to the hash, it's to me. I'm two yards at the bottom of the numbers. Does everybody understand? Everybody, uh, 
So I'm saying is if the receiver line, if the receiver lines up inside my divider, okay, let's say the ball's over here, my width, my divider's at five, five yards. So let's say the X receiver lines up here. I'm outside, I'm gonna line up outside. Okay? I'm basically I'm gonna line up on my divider no matter what. If the X receiver's out here, I'm inside. He's outside the divider. Okay? Yeah, so if we were saying two middle two, if uh, the ball's in the middle of the field, and here's the numbers, here's the numbers, ball's in the middle of the field, if that Z receiver lined up inside, all right, I'd be outside leverage. If well, the X receiver lined up all right, uh, outside, then I would be inside leverage. Could you actually line up on the divider? You teach your kids to line up on That's the divider? start. Hey, no, it's a yeah, yeah. And don't cover grass when the crap cuts five yards off, but you come on down. You know what I mean? Yeah. The basic rule they should understand is I, I, if I'm in zone, cover three, we tell them what? If I'm the third, if I'm the outside corner, I'm on the third, okay? Where, should, where, do I, where do I work to? You work to your damn divider, right? I'm working to the damn divider. That's the general rules. I'm working towards the divider. Why? It goes inside of my divider, so you help my free. Okay? Comes outside my divider, I'm on my own. Okay, so anything outside your divider, buddy, you're a you're man, you're top down. Okay? You're a man covers, you've got no help, it's you, it's you and the receiver. Okay? You know what? Let me, let me, let me say this. Okay? And this may help. What we say in our coverage is, this, is that there's always a bracket. Okay? There's always a bracket. Okay? You're either going to bracket with the free safety, right? Right? If I get Z and he, here he goes, he does that. Okay? I always have, we talk about we have a moving bracket. Okay? And we have a non-moving bracket. Sideline. We got a moving bracket inside. Could be the free. Could be the backer in a little hole. Could be the backer in the coverage. Where else? I've got a bracket. We're inside and outside on everybody. Okay? You always have a bracket. Okay? Use it. Okay? If he's going to my help, don't overplay it. Play the routes that you got. All right? If I'm going to go to the sideline, same thing. I'm going to use my stationary bracket. My sideline. My non-moving bracket. Okay? So that kind of helps. Yeah. So does that, so are you telling your corners basically, if I'm in cover three and the quarterback's looking away, you know your bracket is going to continue to move? Work my divider, yep. Shrink. So I have to work in even yep. more inside the divider because yep. my bracket is going to move. Yep, your bracket's moving. Shrink on the backside. Yep. If we're talking cover three when we talk about later, we're talking about zone. Again, if he is whatever, if he's looking this way, and these all these back sides ought to shrink. All these other sides ought to expand. Yeah. Okay. How do you uh want to buy it? I bet it's good from here to get it the option. Turning the three technique loose. Okay? So he's gonna turn the three. We're in bear. I told you about this. It's basically we get in our bear front, double eagle front. Our basic thing we're gonna see, a lot of, they're not they're gonna read the three technique. Okay? Now he's this is not great technique. What he should do, alright, it's just like I was a five technique and they're reading me. Okay? If he goes down, we want to keep our shoulders square and squat. Okay? Now, obviously, it's a hell of a lot harder to put a guy in three technique and turn his ass loose, but he's been told to attack, attack, attack. You know what I mean? But the whole idea is, hey, you catch yourself, what? Sit and squat, stay in the damn hole. Okay? We've got the A gap, the B gap, the C gap. That's all covered over there. Don't go anywhere. Okay? Sit and squat so you can get a chance to play the quarterback. Okay? So he's always saying, well, Coach, boy, you're, you're too far off the field here, so sit. You should sit right there, okay? As soon as you recognize it, sit down. See, he's a no man and he can't play the quarterback right there, okay? So we want him to sit. Again, we get the base block out, all right, squeeze. 
Okay, we're in cover one here. All right, we're in cover one. So I'm reading the inman line of scrimmage. He blocks. I'm coming. Okay, free. Should be reading here. Pat, pat, pat. I should read this man right here. My eyes should be on this cat. Okay, and we're on tight fit. If I get this guy blocking, again, we want to squeeze and I'm outside. Two. We're going to stack force again off the inverts to do the same thing. Here comes the free. Okay, again, let's take a look at the corner. There's one of those guys that likes to cover, but he don't like to tackle very much. Okay. But again, he, he can't let really see it. But again, he should compress it first. You can kind of see him, he's out, he's, he should be right out here. All right? He should be outside the divider. You can kind of see it's kind of off the screen. It's over here on the board. You can see the corner. <laughs> he's basically over here. He's outside the numbers here. Okay? All right? All right? The guy's basically sitting on my divider. So if he's on your divider, you've got to make a declaration you're inside or outside. Okay. So right now he went outside, so he's treating him, he's going to say he's inside his divider, but he's sitting right on it, 6-2 top. He's sitting at the top of the numbers. Okay? So I'm right on the divider, so I'm going to he's outside leverage. Okay? So we want to see his corner come down here. He should compress, get him to come inside. Once you compress, now avoid, now avoid, come on. And then, see what I'm saying? You don't like to make that. It's not real good. But those guys can, he's making money. Line again. So I should read the three down here. Good. Again. Uh, you know, some you gotta change things up too with the thing. Probably just, um, it's by personnel. And for us, if you know this kid running the football, he was a player of the year in our conference. Okay? So a lot of times we tell him take it, but we don't want him carrying we do not want him carrying the football. Okay? Alright? So, um, again, general rules though, we want the three, let me go, three technique, what? They turn you loose, we want to squat, so let's say um, it's, uh, let's see this guy. Squat, good, that's not bad, okay? Keep your shoulders square, don't turn on the back, squeeze. You're a quarterback player, just the same as you were in a five and you read it, okay? We're squeezing. If we're squeezing from a five, we're squeezing from a three. I still got a guy on the inside gap next to me, so I'm squeezing. The same thing as you were doing in a five. Sit and squeeze. Sit, squeeze, you got the quarterback. Okay? Again, to turn it out. Turn it out, we should cuff and compress. Right? Alright. Wait, coach, don't yep. know where you're going. Uh, you said. Three techniques, sit, squeeze. Yep. You have. He's a quarterback player. Midline? <coughs> yes. Yes. He's a quarterback player. Okay. You know what you That's why people do it against the Bear. Yep. Probably better to defend that two linebacker system. Yeah. Because if, if, if they go, if they go, if they go Bear, and you and you take the three techniques, and I go after the dive right now, well, that, 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 that's the duck lane they're hoping for. Right. Okay. So, and we said it's the same print. All those gaps are counter for, right? We got an A gap, a B gap, a C gap player. All the same things. We said the same thing we're teaching you as five technique. It's the same thing. It's just going to, it's going to happen a hell of a lot faster. And the quarterback's right on top of you. Okay? Right, when they run the, uh, the midline, you know, what, ideally we want to hand the football off and run it over there. We got an A gap player, a B gap player, a C gap. We've got no place to run. Okay? I would watch this. this. He did not write the love of right cutups. This is supposed to be a. Uh, we, we actually got us. Uh, we got us. We got a stun on. So kind of changes some things. We'll go to tight. <coughs> Good. 
it'll be the same things. Now, if we're blitzing, if we're blitzing inside, okay, he's just a three technique. I'm the five. I got a good defender and inside gap. I'm a squeezer. Okay, I'm a quarterback player. He's reading on this side. Same thing. We got a blitzer inside, so we got a B gap player. They're down blocking, right? And he's he's be taking this thing, running A gap, and cutting off the three. Okay, I got a blitzer and a B gap. Okay, guy goes down. Right? He should be here. I should be squeezing. Now it changes for us. When we go five band pressure, we kind of we we. <coughs> Not the greatest clip because when we go five man pressure, it's we tell them that we're going to jet, we're jetting the front. But this guy's wrong. <coughs> See that? <coughs> He's not him. Mm -hmm. This guy pulled the damn football out. He's got a problem. And you game plan it based off what you got, too. All right? I promise you this, this isn't, you know, our conference is number eight. Played quarterback for two years. We probably didn't keep it ten times. Okay? And we played these guys, and we made the e-call, we went for the back. Take him, take him, take him. Why? Because he wasn't going to pull the ball off, no matter what. Okay? <clears throat> should be a good one. Okay. We're going to play man covers. Now, the other way we handle this is this. All right. Now, we can also do this. We'll do it on the boundary. Okay. I'm going to say this is the drop guy. Okay, he's the drop guy. We're gonna take him, put loose him up two by nine. Okay, and he's gonna play. We're gonna play inverted half. This makes it still looks like one. We're gonna pick him to five. We're gonna take him to four. Okay, and we're gonna put him in on the half. Okay. All right. If we're doing that, we're gonna put him in this a gap. We're gonna put him in that b gap. Okay. And again, that would be the boundary side. So the ball's in the hash. Okay. So we'll play cover one, and then we'll play two shell outers also as well. Okay. Going back to the same thing. Let's just say we're balls in the hash. Okay. Okay. Balls in the hash. All right, our number one thing to do on the run is we're going to slam this, no, we're probably going to get this, okay? We're going to slam that, we're going to cheat him two yards, right? I'm going to cheat, I'm going to run player here on the half, okay? I'll get a physical time to my side, i got to cut my eyes to number five, okay? I'm going to cut my eyes to five. We still the same thing here. So we have an e-call here. All right? I'm a free player. Okay? If we get the zone option this side, okay? He blocks him. He blocks him. We squeeze outside. We stack the force off of him. We put him on this, right? So he's going to stay and he's going to walk out, stay on top. I'm going to play a top down. I'm a top down man guy. So my job is this, when, he, when there's no problem to throw a run, I'm going to do what? I'm going to compress and avoid. Okay? That is probably, I'm going to tell you, those two things right there, basically, that, that's our two best run calls on, on run. So we're going to spread, and I'm going to take, and we're going to play, uh, you know, I got to, this is it. It's money down, time, it's time, we got to stop them. We basically do everything else, so make sure we can do that. Okay? And we're going to line up in our four-man front, and then we're going to slide it down to that. So we'd start like this with him out, him down. Then he's going to walk down. He's going to kick down to three. 
I'm gonna play cover. I'm gonna play cover one behind it, and then I'm gonna show them this. Make sure they think we got cover one, and then we're gonna play inverts. We're gonna go here on top, and we'll play it that way. It'll be a, and that will be our map. This is a matchup underneath. This will be a matchup zone underneath. And then I'll have a four-man front with the player normal stuff. We can echo. We can echo this on the backside, away from that back. We're gonna cheat the corner in the boundary for our eighth-man support. And again, we're just gonna stack force off the field side. If we don't, if we don't play quarters, so we, we said that okay, if we were gonna use that that concept on the left, we'd have to do it at a, a pure cover two. Yep. Do you, is, or would you be afraid of that free safety and how late he's gonna get there? No, I tell you what. If we're gonna play that, when we do it out of cover two, if we when we do it, okay. If we're gonna do it out of cover two, okay. If we're gonna do it out of cover two, we're gonna slam him, and we're gonna slam him. So they're both inside leverage, okay. And we'll take them. We'll, now we're gonna put the open front to the field. We're gonna slam them. Free player. Right? So now if I get run support, I'm what? I'm pulling my trigger, I'm pulling my trigger. Right? And then we put. He gotta cut his eye. Now he's gotta see both two and one. Okay. Alright. Basically we're telling us we're and I did hold cons again. We're trying to cancel gaps and force the ball out to these guys. Okay? And then both their mentality has got to be now. I'm, I go slam for I'm in my line of scrimmage, the ball hit, I'm gone. Okay? <clears throat> now, on, yep. that, on that nose concept, if it's run, he's not. Uh, what do you tell him about, you know, because if it's pass, he's, that nose is going to. This one, yes. Right. So, what do you tell him to do on that? I mean, when does he decide? When does he go? Yeah. He's going to say, hey, you got to play high hat for you got to play his gap first on the run. I'm still an A gap player, right? So I'm gonna play it. So I'm gonna be a. We tell. I'm gonna be able. It's like we tell him. We say you are late. We're late. Yeah. We say you're late. Cop. Cop is contained on pass. We're gonna late cop. Okay. So <coughs> if we're gonna do it to the field, we don't mind doing it to the boundary. Right. Because again, he's gonna be flushes. He's, he's he's going into the boundary. If we're gonna do it to the field, we want to be in a zone concept. So let's say say you get. You get sprint out, and it ain't good call, coach. You screwed that one up with him, okay? All right? So we don't want to do this versus sprint out, but if for some reason we do it, or he flushes to the field because we lost contain, all right? We're in a zone <coughs> concept, so when our vision is where? Vision is on the quarterback. My vision is on the quarterback, okay? All right? So if he loses contain, we always take the backside backer to replace. You never want that though. Even if it's run and the, the L and E get really good penetration, you never want them kind of underneath that to pursue the ball, the nose. Coming in here? No, on, you know, behind. Okay. If it's if it's if high it's, hat. No, if it's say it, say it, it just gets washed down, you want the nose. They're zoning this way. Out. Yeah. And They're you, zoning you that way. He's got to play his gap. He's in it. You got to play the run. You're the A gap player. You're just you're going to contain on pass only. Yep. So if he got zoned to him. Okay, and again, hey, if we're here's another key on uh, uh, coach point. If, if we're slamming, we're ski, we're slamming on this side, and we're constricting those gaps. He's got to know that. Right. I don't want to be heavy on the center. Okay, I don't need to be heavy on the center. Why? Those gaps are constricted. I don't. I don't want to be heavy on the center. Push the zone to me, and I can't make the play. Yeah. So I want a more in the gap on this thing. Make sure I should be on the edge. Closest thing I should be would be on the outside foot of the center. As close as I, I should be on that thing. If I got a slam being close as I'm gonna be that center is on his foot. Are you are you using slam footwork on the backside with the corner, even okay. though uh, if, if you're playing slam oh, in the box? Okay, not this one? Yeah. yeah. Or are you guys free inverting? This we could have slam on both sides, right? Okay. Especially if he sees this. And then first play. He motions in, okay. we cheat inside the slam. Okay. And if not, and he was just playing as divider, and he was if he was like squat technique, squat technique, then you're asking the uh, the the R. The, okay, so the the safety's gonna fit outside of two, not the R. Yeah, I think so. 
Yes. The R ought to be the one. If they're running this, he should be rocking going A to C. And he would be inside of four. The I should be outside of four. Okay. Okay, because if he goes and blocks him, most of the time we're going to get four here. If he's doing that, we don't see a lot of that. Most of the time there's some type of option with him. That's going to be him across. Now the whole thing that changes up is we see a lot of, because we're playing so, well guys, almost there. If we get him on the hash, we're going to force it one way or the other. We're going to force that ball, make you have to run to the dig and field. Or we're gonna, you know what I mean? Or, so what we get a lot of is they'll trade the guy into the boundary and they'll run zone option into the boundary. Okay? And try to get the extra guy. So now they get five on the corner, get four on the backer, make him come support. Okay? General things here again, to coaching those. We said load, we're going to what? That's, that's any four by one. <clears throat> what are we doing on zone coverages? Push. We're pushing it. So, all right? Even though the matchup, we got to be, he, if, he gets, if he gets his motion, if he gets the tail back over here, Okay, we should be slid over. Okay, especially when I can confirm now two comes in, comes into the boundary, I should be sliding outside my end. Okay, so make it harder on four to block you. Are you sliding on the movement? I mean, is it like going, you know, gapple or? Yep, we call it boss. Yeah. Are you boss and Bowen? Yep. We we'll get boss. Now we boss anytime we get three and four in the boundary, we're bossing. All right, I always tell them they ain't, they ain't over there for no damn reason. Three or four in the boundary, buddy. There's a reason for it. They ain't putting them over there. They just constricted themselves. Okay? So we said boss would be, you know, backers offset, right? Backers offset strong. That's what it stands for, okay? So if we get three and four into the boundary, we boss. There ain't zone. So that backer, I don't know, get too much drawing on here. But it'd be the same thing here. If they took that tail back and slid him over here, three, four, five, that's the boundary, okay? And we've got a slam game on that mic will line up right there. Right? <coughs> so now, so now he gets a slam, he ought to be tighter. Okay? So our general thing for backers is anytime we get we're gonna boss to any load, that means gonna, they should slide. I get load, boss. Okay? I get uh, uh, three, four in the boundary, boss. Okay? <coughs> When we do two terminologies, we're saying we say boss or push. Push means that's all of us. That's the safeties. That's everybody. Push, push, push means we're all sliding. We're saying just the backers. We say boss, boss, boss. Now the backers would slide over, okay? Because they, they again they put the tilt of the formation to one side or the other. They're gonna move. And we're gonna move. Okay. You guys want to go there? We're over right now. You guys want to take a break? You want to ask about anything about there? We can take a break. If anybody's got a question about this, we'll take, we, can, we can talk more about this. Think about a question you want to talk about, can't. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about the bubble, flash and pass, the wag, all that stuff, okay?